I want you to go back. I want you to think long, hard. I want you to imagine a nice day, a glorious day. One where you and your friends have finally come together to play a glorious game of League of Legends. And then you get this fucking idiot in your game. So I know you've all had this kind of person in a game before. So I'm playing blind pick with all my friends. Well, four of us total. We get into a game we all call lanes, with me calling top lane. The final position that wasn't called was AD carry. So me and my friends all choose our champions. I go top lane, Tom Ketchum, gotta eat them all. We got a mid lane Zed and a jungle wild knife cat. So Zed and Rengar insta-lock, but I haven't locked in yet and my buddy hasn't picked a support yet. Since we are a party of four, our final random player who hasn't said anything yet picks Teemo. And then we wait. And we stare at each other. We stare at the champion picks. Nobody says anything. I not only called top first, but picked Tom Kench first as well. I go ahead and type. I tell him. I call top. But he doesn't respond. So I just lock in the catfish. My buddy decides to lock in support in Italy. And then this Teemo just sits there. Like the little fucker he is. And the champion selection time runs out. So there we have a Teemo. Who hasn't said anything yet. And I am equally confused as I am annoyed. The enemy team is a top lane Nasus, Yi Jungle, Mid Annie, and Vara Sona bot lane. So you know exactly what happens. I go top lane and guess what he does? He pings me back and has the audacity to have the first words out of his mouth be WTF dude I'm top lane. At this point I have so much salt that my skin begins turning wider than normal. I look like an Irish person taking a beach cruise in California. I may as well have the visual appearance of a tub of cottage cheese. Now of course I tell him how I call a top and pick my champion first and blah 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 but instead he just goes top and sits there and he keeps on pressing the little V hotkey, pinging me back. Now originally I say to myself, yo fuck this Tito, this state of worshipping shroom eating furry little fuck, I'm staying top lane, I'm taking all of his CS. It is time to unbench the Kench. Unfortunately, trying to CS with a friendly Teemo is not necessarily the easiest thing. So after a bit of time, I say fuck it, since our bot lane Nidalee is having a 1v2. So I talk to my friend and say, no, fuck this Teemo. I'm gonna have some fun. Nidalee, build full AP, and I'm gonna go build full tank murdering catfish of doom Tom Ketchup. So the game starts to kick into gear and things are actually not looking too bad. Our Rengar is counter jungling the hell out of Yi. Mid lane matchup isn't too bad, Zed is dealing with Annie, but can't kill her because Shadow Ninjas have trouble against children who like fire. Bot lane is actually not doing too bad. The poke is annoying, but Tom's E sustain with Nidalee's heal actually makes it a decent lane. But the part that annoys me most is top lane. Now I feel really bad for this poor Nasus. It sucks fighting Teemo's Nasus, but it sucks even more when the Teemo is toxic and is killing you. Teemo was just wrecking Nasus, consistently. He was doing very well. It also makes me sad when a toxic player does well. I want to win, but in the back of my mind I want this Nasus to straight doggy hump this Teemo to death. But unfortunately, Nasus was having a bad time and Teemo was doing quite well. As the game progressed, mid and jungle stayed the same, but top and bot started changing. Nasus was starting to get tired of Teemo's shit. Those early deaths and missed CS soon didn't matter, as he just ignored Teemo's bullshit and focused on farming. Soon, Nasus was becoming stronger than Teemo. Teemo cared more about harassment than CS, so Nasus was almost equal in gold. Then he solo killed Teemo, and I knew it was going to be only downhill from there. But the good news was bot lane started to become fucking hilarious. We were demolishing this enemy lane. They have no escapes, so a good Nidalee Spear or Tom Q would give them no real way to escape the incoming Pouncer Catfish munching. With Rod of Ages done and Warmogs in production and a Ludens and Morella Mamacon in Nidalee, we started face rolling Sona and Varus. I would yoink up our Rengar and ult behind them and even Master Yi couldn't help as I just snatched them up and ate him while non-consensually licking the enemy team to death. So as bot lane grew stronger, top lane grew weaker. The Nasus was starting to get fed off this Teemo. If Teemo tried to harass him, Nasus just said lol nope and would walk up and cue him for a quarter of his health. But in my mind, it felt good. It was nice knowing that Teemo was getting murdered and it was even better that I was getting fed with a silly bot lane comp. Soon mid game reared its ugly head and things began to change. Team fights were hilarious. Most of the time the fights were some form of 4v5 since Teemo would never seem to come to leave top lane. But I was playing the most god tier Tom Kench. I was just shredding health bars of this unkillable tank fish of licking glory. Sona and Varus were getting Rengar pounced to death and Annie was generally getting eaten by me or ulted by Zed. And he was literally a non-factor in the game because he was so behind his devourer wasn't even sated yet at least until 30 minutes. 
However, the Nasus was becoming a problem. 30 minutes in, he came back from that team of harass with almost 500 stacks and multiple complete items. Even though we demolished the enemy team, the combined Sona and Varus ults generally gave Nasus the space to walk up and queue us for half of our health. So team fights would play out like this. The enemy team's carries all die from us. Then all of our carries die from Nasus. And me and Nasus wet and noodle each other until we both just retreat while Teemo is farming top lane. Nasus was the only person in the game worthy to fight me. And I was the only person worthy to fight Nasus. I knew that without a true AD carry on our team, I was the only one who could truly kill Nasus. This was my time to shine. My time to show the power of a full tank Kench. The game continued. Teemo helped distract Nasus with split pushing as we gained a foothold on objectives and lane pressure. The score was close to even on kills, but goal was slightly in our favor. However, we had amazing dragon control and Yi was never once able to steal one. Same thing with Baron. But with all these Barons, all these dragons, team fights still ended up the same. Even with Teemo there, in the fight, all their carries died, then Nasus killed all of our carries, then the two of us slapped each other until we eventually backed off. Nasus just kept farming and getting stronger. 40 minutes in, he was almost full build, as was I. 700 stacks on Q. Nidalee and Zed were nearly getting one shot by him and nobody could do any damage to him either. More time passed. More barons. More dragons. Teemo was a non-factor in the game now. He simply couldn't do anything anymore. All he was was some meat shield reason to send somebody top lane to deal with a split push. We were now 55 minutes in. But finally a team fight went our way and we got map control completely down. We were finally ready to end this. We took our fifth dragon. We took our third baron. We had two inhibitors down in their base. My entire team, Teemo, Zed, Nidalee, Rengar, and the fishiest of all catfish, went headlong into their base. Soon, the team fight ensued. Teemo and Nidalee got completely instantly murdered as Annie was full build and landed a Tibbers into a Sona ult while Master Yi wujued the fuck out of them. Rengar soon got rid of Sona and shortly after Varus, but then fell to Nasus with a 2Q hit combo. Zed ended up killing Master Yi, but Annie took him out and I shortly after killed Annie. So then, it was just the two of us. The immortal Egyptian dog of death versus the silver tongue backstabbing catfish. Nasus had 1100 stacks on his Q. Merc treads with home guard, Triforce, Warmogs, Spirit Visage, Frozen Heart, and a dead man's plate. Tom, the motherfucking Swagmaster 9000, had boots of swiftness with alacrity, Rod of Ages, dead man's plate, Warmogs, Spirit Visage, and a Zephyr, along with Baron and the fifth dragon buff. It was finally time to truly unbench the Kench. Uncloak the Croak. Permit the Kermit. Unslung the Tongue. Unslander the Salamander. Unhook the Cook. Unroll the Tadpole. Unclog the Frog. Unload the Toad. Uninhibit the Ribbit. Unstick the Lick. Unimprison the Amphibian. Unmute the Newt. Unhitch the Catfish. Uncalm the Tom. Unstop the Hop. Keen on the Green. Unbench the Kench. The fight begins. We charge each other. Nasus withers me and pops his E then ults. Giant three head red Nasus is fucking terrifying. But I have been unbenched. There is no stopping me. A quick Q and two licks activates the most delicious acquired taste. He hits me with a Q. Fucking ouch. That shit hurts. I eat him up. Walk around with him in my belly for a bit and spit him out. A fat chunk of his health bar is down. He cues me again. Ow. It still hurts. I lick him a little then start my kite. I walk around to queuing him with a stun, he withers me again, hits me with an E then cues me. I'm at half health now. My licks are doing decent damage but I can't keep up with his cues. I stun him then eat him up again after he lands another cue. Digest him a little bit then spit him out. Another decent chunk of his health is gone. He cues me again, down to a quarter. Realize he is just too strong for me to keep up this fight. I have a better idea. I get to three stacks on my passive and start queuing him. Then I run away. I would stun him every time the Q was up, but I would never go to eat him. Slowly, the Q and the fifth dragon buff would burn away his health. Soon after four consecutive Q stuns, he was at around a quarter health. But he hit Wither, and I realized it was my last shot. As he was gaining on me, I flashed into him and ate him up. Then I broke my laughing hotkey, smacking control four as much as I could. And then, I spit him out. He had 100 health left. One final Q put him down. I had unbenched. The Kench. I ran to the Nexus and licked it to death. An hour after getting tilted from a toxic Teemo, I saw a victory screen. I then reported that mushroom shit, shut off my computer, and passed the fuck out. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of this story. I'll see you next time. Buh bye bye. Mm -hmm.